Okay, welcome to part two of this how to draw tutorial. And I'm still trying to figure out what exactly I want to do with this guy. I think I am going to shoot for a superhero type look. I'm going to make some alterations to him. And uh, so I'm going to check and see what layers I have selected doing what. I'm going to select them both. And then I'm going to tell it to resize them. So let's see here. Sometimes it won't show up with the resize tool, which is under edit and transform and you can do scale there's tons of different options in there and then if you hold down the shift button it'll keep everything in proportion if you take the shift button off it'll just let things stretch and contort so I think that'll be good um let's see we're gonna modify this slightly now so I'm going to just go ahead and erase his legs so off of the design that I've already worked on here. I'm just going to cut them off at the knees for right now. So this is a good start because I'm thinking I'm going to have him do something kind of heroic-ish. So basically now I'm just going to go back in with my sketch pen, my sketch pencil. And I think I am going to do it off this beginning layer because the secondary layer is more of a more of a harder ink, uh, well a harder pencil line. And then um, I'm still trying to think if I want to go in with um, ink for this one or if I'm going to actually do tone for this. So still just fig figuring it out, feeling my way out. Anyway, um, right now it's just the preliminary design. And you just mess around with it, as I was saying in the other video. And feet are tough for me. I, I find feet to be a little technical. Not too bad, but a little bit. So we'll see as we go along here. I'm kind of feeling this. I'm not feeling this front foot, but you're not either. So let's go ahead and readjust that. Okay. And maybe make it just a bit longer. And it's okay to keep things looking undone. That's fine. It's not a problem reason why is because you can take it and modify it later. And now I'm just kind of applying where I want some of the shading to be later on in, in this video. That way I just know where to fill. And I'm going to redo that hand a little later too. Actually, let me show you a little trick. We're going to get that layer. And I'm just going to take my lasso tool, which is right here. And I'm just going to select this hand and then I'm going to... I have a button programmed into my Cintiq to do this for me, but you go to um, Layer, New, and uh, Layer via Cut. Now I have, like I said, I have a program uh, button programmed to do this, a uh, keystroke. So I'm just going to hit this and you're going to see it's going to put a new layer over here. And if I turn it off and turn it on, now the hand is selected. Now I can just go to Transform and Scale and I can scale it to the size I want now. And my other goal is, you know, just to make sure that it's in proportion with the other hand on the other side. And it's being a little finicky, so I'm just going to use my keyboard now to make sure it gets in the right spot. There we go. That's close enough. I'll ink, I'll pencil in the rest of that and get it a little bit more close. Now, I'm going to work on one of the other layers, though. Okay, so that's the more locked down details. I'm thinking he's going to be like a superhero doing some super superhero-ish type thing. So I'm just kind of in the concept mode here. I'm just going to come up with some stuff. Now, there is a cool way that I see a lot of illustrators doing um, concepts and that's by starting off with a black silhouette of what they want the finished concept to look like and then once they have that finished concept done then they can go in and start sketching it around it so what they'll do is they'll take a layer and start it off in black with a yeah, cut that out with a heavy tool and they'll just do this. I think I think we'll start off doing this. Maybe we can work on the 
the design with it like this. So let me make sure that my opacity is all the way up, all my buttons are deselected. It should make this thick black. I'm just going to take this brush just a bit bigger. And you're going to see I'm just going to fill in kind of what I've already done because I'm really pleased with that body structure so far. So I'm just going to kind of fill it in a little bit. And you can see about how this could be helpful because if you don't need to worry about details, then you can work on, you know, just what that individual is doing just by scraping it out in black. You'll see once we fill this in, it'll make a little bit more sense. Already at five minutes. <laughs> Go figure. Anyway, maybe we'll let this one run till 15. So, anyway, there's the filled in stuff, and of course, we're gonna put a little bit of hair in there. So, you can see it's kind of the exact same thing, it's just in, it's just in silhouette. Now, I can take this and build off of it. So, maybe we'll go like this. This is just concept. You know, this is where you get that preliminary idea in your head, what you're going to do, how it's going to look, and what's going to make it worthwhile in the end. how this is looking though. This is kind of cool. So anyway, this is just using black and whites to come up with your idea. And I like how that looks. That's kind of cool. So let's go ahead and take that layer and we're going to lower the opacity. So it starts bringing in what I've already drawn. Okay, now I can go back in and I'll see a lot of people do it in white. So Let's make some adjustments here. Let's uh, bring this back up a little, and we're going to drop it below my drawn layers. And then I want to invert what I'm already, what I already have working on here, just to give you the idea of what I'm talking about. So we're going to invert this. So we're going to have some lines turn white here, and we'll do it with this other set here too. There we go. And we'll just continue off there. Let me grab this inverted color. There we go. And get it back in there with my pencil tool. And I, I find this to be helpful because, I mean, obviously you're you're coming up with a concept, um, but I do find one problem. Let's go in here to the background layer. And let's make it a bit darker. And get the bucket. Boom, there we go. Now I can see what I'm doing. I was a little worried about that area right there. We're at eight minutes. Okay. It's going to be the hand layer and the detail layer. For now, I'm just going to work in the sketch layer, which is this one, just so I can get the feel of, whoops, get the feel of what I'm shooting for here. And I'm thinking these hoses here will connect somehow to this jet pack he's got. And I mean the, the the really nice thing about this is not only do you come up with the concepts, you can also begin the process of you know getting the details put in. That comes in real handy. And it speeds up the process a lot. So again over here. And kinda like that. And 
let's just do this tail out to here. Maybe kind of make it look like a, like a, not so much an airplane wing, but a hornet tail of some nature or something. And like I said, this is all concept. All started off your preliminary sketch. Or, I kind of wish I'd started with the silhouette first. But there's the second stage done of our character using silhouette style. And if I turn off that silhouette, it looks kind of like that. And that looks really cool. Oh, his hand is still black. So what I'll do is I'll just go here, filter, no, excuse me, image, adjustments, and you're looking for invert. There we go. So that looks pretty cool. For now, though, I'm going to leave that layer on because I'm going to just start shading on top of this in the next video. But, of course, we're done. So let's go ahead and uh, finish up on a couple little things here. Render this video out. This one's then going to go online. And more to come after that. Maybe quickly, very quickly, I'm going to make a harness for him that'll strap off of these, um, strap off of those hoses up here. I kind of want his body to free fly, because as you can see with his, his stance with his legs, they're not connected to the, uh, not connected to the, um, actual jet. looks pretty sweet. I'd just like to see this guy walking around during the day, huh? Anyway, guys, thank you for watching this video. It's 12 minutes, 11 seconds in, so we need to stop. So, make sure to check out my website, timmichaelarts.com, if you like webcomics. Also, um, you can check out my other channel, Tim Michael Arts 2, where I have a vlog, talk about my daily life. You become a part of it, and it gets really annoying sometimes. It's a lot of fun. So, anyway, make sure that you join me there, and uh, I will see you guys in the next video in a few minutes.